Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Vectrex games. Yes, we're going to be playing some Vectrex today. We are going to be playing these two newish games. Here are Primera, but these are both released in 2024, in the past mm, six months. Mm. And also, uh, just uh, Gyrostronomy or Gyrostrology. It's a dual oh box interesting yes. it's the same game okay just kind of a reskin within the game a uh, little bit so let's put up the vectrex sign on the vectrex which is right here as you can see in the cat cam beside the assistant our lovely assistant um sid there tari's near the door mm -hmm. um we've got all special cameras set up because there is no capture card that you can plug into a Vectrex because it's not a normal way of displaying things. It's, uh, as inferred in the name, vector-based. And there were a number of uh, games in the 70s and 80s. Uh, Maybe you could plug it into Photoshop. <laughs> That's <It's>, right. It's, <laughs> and capture it and do it a line drawing really, really, really fast. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bernie has been messed with earlier. Hey, Americans. There we go. Bernie's back up. There we go. Is there a bee in this thing? No, there's not a bee in this. This has the buzz What's off. What's the buzzing sound? Is there a, is there a buzzing sound? Are you sound? messing with us? Don't mess with us, man. Buzzing. It might be a bee in your house. And you rip um, stuff. It, it's it, coming in there to sting you. It could be a minor buzz from the Vectrex just being plugged in. Uh, is, there, is there a buzzing sound? Let me know. Because it might just be this. Let me just unplug. Don't mess with me then. <laughs> no, uh, Vectrex, um, as it was shipped, has a natural, terribly loud, annoying buzzing sound. Like, I mean, not unnoticeable buzzing sound. So there are aftermarket buzz off kits, um, which is the one I have. You can do mm. it other ways. Um, and I also have a, what is it called? A Vectrex audio tap installed that is connected directly to the audio lines of the Vectrex. So I have it piped in to a, to a speaker here and also into the stream. So it's going to sound good. And we also have a camera set up pointed at it. So hopefully it'll look good too. Uh, it looked pretty good last time we did this, which was late 2022. Uh, when did you get the tap? Oh, years and years and years and years ago. Yeah, many. So many years ago. Many it's like, you know, it's like just so long ago. It was old. At least five. I don't remember back that far. It took me years to install it, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I installed it at least five years ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, or four years ago. Um, so yes, we're going to be playing Hera Primera and G Gyrostronomy, Gyrostrology. Hera Primera is a Juno First inspired game. It's not quite like a Juno First, but it's very close. But Gyrostronomy is very close to Gyrus, one of my favorite games. And they both translate really, really well onto the Vectrex. So I'm nice. really looking forward to playing them today. Um... So I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, 8-Bit Poet, Alan Defer, Andrew, Atari, Armscar, Coder, Atari, 974, Atari, Age, BR, Polka, Bruno Stacks, Charles Donimal, Charles Willen, Chitla, Cubanismos, here in a reboot, Dianoi, Dale, Andrew Darling, uh, Danny VC, Dave M, DMC, Dr. Moo, Cows, Eric Carr, Gamma Dev, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Aroldo, Ju, JG, Johnny WC, Computer Coder, Carl G, Karakak, Croco 2600 developed for Lambda Express, Manning Sympathy, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Tom, Mike K. Smith, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic Co op, Rando, Ariane Schwartz, Raymond C, RC70, Rundle Ghost, Revan, Tulip, Cutter, Pam, Smitty B, Spice War, Spinley S, Ramirez, The D Train, Tiki Dan, KT, Fos, Trekham, D, Tweeny, V, Double Down, NX, Ken X, and soon to be, Drexel's going to show you how to resubscribe right now. You uh, just hit subscribe. Oh, I can hear myself. <laughs> Hit subscribe in there. It's free with Amazon Prime. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there we go. So you can do like Darcy did and resubscribe or subscribe for the first time. It's free with Amazon Prime. Darcy didn't pay a dime to do that. I but did, but not to not, Twitch. Directly. That's right. <laughs> not directly. He subscribes to Amazon services. That's right. Um, or you can just follow us. 
and you'll be alerted to when we are live and you can type and we might react you can to type and react to the words you put on the screen if they're Woo! enticing enough um so uh a little bit of news oh I actually have a poll Thank you, Beer Pocock, for the resubscription. Uh, it's very much appreciated. The cats love it because they get catnip indirectly. Indirectly. <laughs> from your donation. They're very Thank enthusiastic. You so like you, if you could see them right now, you can't, but if you could see them right now. They're, oh, wait, no, you can see that I'm a liar because there's one cat right Sid there. Sid is right there. Keeping not the making Vectrex a lot of noise. Warm. Yes, keeping the Vectrex. Uh, we have a poll. Uh, I probably did this poll last time, but it's been years. Uh, Vectrex? Vectrex! Um, I have one is one. Two, I have more than one. Three, I have none but want one. Four, I have none and I'm not interested. So I have two Vectrex eyes, Vectrices, Vectors. <laughs> Don't know. Vect Vectrexes. Um, I... Um, oh, I asked, oh, what's his name? Da, 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 da. That uh, does a lot of, oh my God, why can't I remember his name? Uh, he was at PRGE. He was like the Vectrex dude that uh, distributes a lot of stuff. Uh, Sean Kelly. I asked Sean Kelly at PRGE, what is the plural of Vectrex? And he was just like, I don't know. <laughs> Vectrex, Vectrexes. Vectrexes. I think we settled on. I don't know if that was on camera or not. I don't know if it was. It might have been. Uh, yeah, Sean Kelly. Thank you, Steve. Uh, I have two Vectrex units. There, you can avoid it all completely. But only one that works. He has a spare unit with a good tube and some good logics in it. Oh, that's good to have a backup. Some units are worse than others. Vectri. Some. Vectri. <laughs> yes. So did I put one in? Yes, I did. So I have two of them. Vectrexy. One with a buzz off kit. I think it's Vectrexy. Vectrexy yeah. with a Y at the an end. I. With an I Vectrexy, at the end. Yeah. Vectrexy. And also an audio tap. So this has all the upgrades to it. I don't have a UV uh, uh, add on for it because you can get uh, UV lights that you put around the CRT display. Oh. And then you get a UV activated overlay. And okay. it looks very cool. Huh. Um, I've, I've read concerns about that. It's like, well, it's UV light pointing at your face. It's like, well, if you don't get too close and it's, it's fairly dim, you it's need not some. too bad. Maybe in the winter. True. And then Play your you Vectrex with vitamin UV D overlay. production. <laughs> That's right. UV and if there's overlay. no vitamin D production, I don't think it's enough to hurt you. Yeah. Because you need like sunburn level of UV from the sun in order to... To yes. make vitamin D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to get UV overlays in the light frame. It's amazing. As Ramirez says, yeah, I should do that. The last time I tried, I messaged the guy who made, or a person, who makes the UV outline. And they didn't get back to me. Mm. So that, and I just haven't followed up in a while. My second one's likely fixable, but I've not found the exact cause. It does show and try to play games, but the vector lines themselves are all over the place. Oh, okay. So it's not like the single dot in the middle sometimes that's mm. the problem where it doesn't move the uh electron gun or uh... speaking of electron guns one time <laughs> when i was younger i would decided that i was going to power my spaceship with uh, catheter tubes <laughs> just a bunch of crts yeah at like the back of it yeah yeah, yeah. Well, that's and better I did than the math them in the garbage. on how fast you'd have to fire those electrons and yeah. it was it was faster than the speed of light, but I'm not sure that's a problem. <laughs> Firing photo electrons faster than if the speed you of put light? that if you put the extra energy into them, it doesn't disappear. No, yeah, it, you would get thrust, probably yeah. not much. No, <laughs> uh, you can control the intensity of light. Okay, so uh, what was I going to show? Oh, uh, there was an interesting. Uh, link from Opcode. Eduardo from Opcode posted this the other day. Uh, let me just get it up here. Oh, I moved it around. So he released recently released uh, Popeye, and 
I always forget the name of the Moon Cresta. And he posted on a Tuesday, we've got another 7,800 game pre-order opening next week. Plus a 7,800 edition of our Super Game Club on the way. There are a few more surprises lined up between now and March. Exciting times ahead. So he recently put out Popeye and Moon Cresta reissue because they disappeared for a while. For like a year and a half. So it's very exciting that uh, another 7,800 game is on the way next week. So we'll find out what that game is. And the 7800 edition of Super Game Club, I think what you do is you subscribe to the Super Game Club and you get a game as part of it. But I'll have to find out the details when he releases that. So I'll be watching that for news and updating everyone when that happens. Um, so I think it's on to the games. And since these are fairly new games, I think we should do an unboxing of it. Starting with Hira Primera. And we're here. Party oh, time for yet. kittens. Cats, cats, cats. Party cats, time cats. for kittens. Thank you so much, Gamma Dev. Here you go. What are these? Those are for putting catnip onto. Okay. And we're going to put them fairly far apart because uh, Sid tends to... Steal? Steal both of them. Mm -hmm. Sounds like... It smells like a farm. Okay. Ready? Don't get too much because they basically roll around it and, and eat like 10% of it. Oh, there you go, mister. Oh, no, that's too far. Bring it in. We got to see it on the camera. We can okay. move this over a little bit. Yeah. Bring that in. I'll tell you when. There. There you go. Good, 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 good. There we go. Need, need to keep all the variables the same so we can measure the Darcy effect. <laughs> this is on the bell ringing. <laughs> and see how, if that, <laughs> he's already upside down. See if there that, is a, there is a Darcy effect because I, when he comes over to this bell, I put his treat by his bell where he's supposed to be. Uh, because if he's over here, there's a not Darcy, like, like they're supposed to have separate bells. They are supposed he to. is he should be penalized for hitting this bell but he but he's not because that's a bit much to explain it, to a cat it, it is but it does interfere with atari it. hitting his bell if the other oh, cat comes over oh it does. and so all i'm doing is just trying to get him over <laughs> to his own belt barrel where he's supposed to be i think he rang it or tried to ring it once last last time we did on on tuesday he just goes for the same bell as Atari because it's his older brother. He likes Atari a lot. Oh my God, so much. And Atari's, and Atari's like, like, I... Well, so he's exhausted. an older brother. Exactly. Exactly like yes. an older brother. <sighs> yeah. He's just exhausted with Sid. <laughs> it's like, get away. <laughs> okay, so let's bring over the cat cam so we can do the unboxing. I'll try and keep it on the cats while I get it set up. probably want to do the unboxing for both the games so i don't have to do this twice maybe not i'll just do it for one okay and let's get this spun around let's focus on the cats there we go okay so let's unbox hera primera Things. There we go. So let's open it up. And this is, I actually have not opened this up at all. It's still got the shrink wrap on it, which is uh, fairly unusual for a homebrew to have shrink wrap. But some people do it. Okay, let's open this up. Hello, Dimax. Welcome, welcome, welcome. this and try not to destroy anything there we go this is distributed through polyplay and i hesitated a little bit on getting this because homebrews are expensive well games are expensive in general it's not any more expensive than an actual game it's about the same. So there's the front of the box. There we go. 
There's the back of the box. We can get it all in frame and not reflecting. There we go. Let's open it up. And the cool thing about Vectrex games is you get an overlay with it. Mm. Oh, and there's the cartridge. Oh, and they've actually got a authentic old school oh. plastic case in there. There's the uh, Polyplay feedback card, registration card. This game will run on what computer? It has no Vectrex listed. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's I why it says know. other, I guess. Other, yeah, Vectrex. I mean, there would be no point in having an other if there weren't some <laughs> systems that weren't That's not true. included. It's like we don't even make them. Oh, there's stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Cool. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's look at this. So this is the uh, developer's prior art. And this is just, it's not a sticker, I don't think. Oh, it is a sticker. Okay. Yeah, you can see a slight outline. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, it's a sticker. So that's the developer's. Oh, more stickers for Polyplay. A whole bunch of bonuses. Retro Game Publishing. And we have another sticker from Polyplay. Am I too close? Yeah, I think I am. Couldn't focus that close. And then a sticker for the game. Here are Primera. No, shiny. <laughs> there we go. And we have the overlay in what feels like wax paper. Remove the protective film on both sides. Oh, we get to take off protective film. Uh oh. Do I want to? It looks it depends. fine. Do you want to use it? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> uh, I guess it's going to look better if I take off the protective film. Because here we actually play the games that we buy. Don't just keep them in perfect condition. There we go. It'll look fuzzy if you don't. Yeah. Nice trick for opening the box. Yes, I, I've had so much trouble in the past opening boxes, but somebody somewhere suggested using a butter knife and it's worked Amazing. I haven't creased a box since. Also, it makes you look kind of badass. Like, I don't care about this box. Stab, look at me using a knife. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> oh, yeah. That <laughs> looks way cleaner. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So we'll put that in Vectrex right now. There we go. And here's the manual. Here are Primera. Probably play. I'll read this out as Darcy plays, but I'll just give a flip through. Apologies if I complete the game, you know, too quickly and ruin everything for yeah, you. Yeah, he might have to play it a second time uh, because he just went too fast through the game before I could even finish the manual. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how good Darcy is. There we go. Look, the cat cam is still showing a cat. Oh, a cat in the background. Hi, cat. Mm -hmm. Hello, cat. Hello. Hi, cat butt. Oh, it's touching the cat. And a spot oh, for to oh, you to re, uh, oh, no, record all your scores. Me in trouble. Very nice manual. There we go. Oh, is it discount? No, you can uh, send a money order. <laughs> Check or money order. Really? For what? Uh, screen overlays. That's funny. Additional screen overlays may be ordered. That's funny. Money orders and checks. I wonder if that's like actual real. You can send a check to them. But I mean, it looks legitimate. Like I know it's like printed on the back of a uh, instruction book and everything. That's so funny. They know nobody's gonna cut their <laughs> instruction book. No, you could photocopy it. But, it, but would that be a valid voucher? <laughs> I don't know. Because it depends on whether they want your money. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's get this cat cam back. 
to its normal spot. Oh, so tight. Oh my God. Is that good? Oh, up a little bit. There we go. Hi, buddy. Are you all high and stuff? I'm a little hi. bit high. <laughs> okay. I'm little and also high. So let's pop this in uh, and we will go to our <laughs> back track screen. When does the subscriber just get updated? Darcy's not in it. Uh, once before the show. Yes, I do it like half an hour before the show. <laughs> it's manual. It's not retrieved from some dynamic list, unfortunately. Uh, okay, I think we are good to go. There's the joystick for you, Darcy. And we took great pains in setting up this camera with a lot of help from Darcy. So much help. I was... Ah, my toe! <laughs> Your toe being attacked. Are we switching that to over here? Uh, no, we are not. Oh yeah, not yet. Okay. Not, not ever. So, it's a cat cam zoomed in a bit more than usual. Zoomed in? No. Maybe zoomed out? If anything, zoomed out. How oh, lame, yeah. Uh, watch the horizon and try to predict the course of the approaching aliens. Actually, I haven't been looking at this at all. Yeah, am I going to get... I'm just used to getting eaten. Fire two for two player. For Fire three for one, one move one. Right. Fire four for move. So I think this... the overlay... I think the overlay might be more... Like, this is not during the game, and in the game, I think the overlay is not in the way. Oh, right. If, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Just going to brighten it up just a bit. I think you're just going to brighten up the o the unlit overlay. Is it, is it out of focus? Well, let me just make sure. Yeah, it is out of focus. Cats? Oh, my God. That's better. That's so much better. It's okay. pretty funny that we saw <laughs> a cat clearly in the... Uh... Okay, Are, am I allowed to press a button? Uh, yes, that's button one, so you want to do that. When oh I my press God. it, it... It's moving! <laughs> that must be that. centering the screen. Okay, wait a second. Let me read this again. Okay, this one here oh, did it. Oh, now you're doing it. This okay. one did it. Okay. This one seems to be adjusting... I think it, it's some sort of level of couch compliant. Oh my. Oh my goodness. There you go. Oh, oh, ah! Oh my god! What am I? I can't it. say that I'm I'm happy about the chaos that I'm having to... <laughs> endure. Endure is the right word. Okay, basically shoot everything and... Don't be shot. And don't be shot and pick up little guys that are standing as you zoom by. Going backwards is dangerous, but sometimes you can do it. Uh, so is it possible... Oh, or am I just getting... Like, the top of the screen gives you information about where they are, even though they're not on the screen. Where they are coming from, yeah. That's pretty great. Yeah. Once you... Once you uh, figure out what it means that's awesome because it's kind of tiny little guys off in the distance at the top of the screen you i'm a little blown been... away that i'm not yet dead it's a lot of reflection oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's because i have it cranked up let me oh there is a lot of reflection let's see if i can minimize that so i do have a polarizer Oh, I died. Is that worse? Is that better? That seems to be getting more of the carpet. Is that a me? That's a me. What? What is? It's just there was a thing that I very bravely touched. Oh. Twice, and I believe that it was. Uh... So what we can do is turn out the lights in here, which will get rid of a lot of carpet. We're kind of planning on doing 
possibly anyway. That's a lot better. How's that? Yes, a dark carpet. Ooh, what I could do is put something dark in front of that. That will help too. Spam. Um, probably. Who knows. So I've got a black t shirt here that may help with the reflections. There's like heat seeking missiles that you have to shoot. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't know how I'm alive. I think the controls must like my hands. A little better than normal or something. That <laughs> is a lot easy. better. <laughs> <laughs> that the truth hurts, so <laughs> we let be more gentle <laughs> with the truth. Just, just, just say Darcy's doing really well. <laughs> what a great! Ah! Uh, it is the the level of difficulty is well suited for Darcy. Ooh, that might mm -hmm. be still a little on the edge. <laughs> a, little, a little bit too truthy. For my liking. Yeah, I did have it on the shelf, but we found there was a lot of reflections because I didn't have this sign last time, and uh, it was a bit much. Okay, now to now that I've uh, made it a bit blacker on the carpet, I think we can get to the instructions. Watch the horizon and try to predict the course of the approaching aliens. With each pass, the surviving enemies mutate and must be may behave differently on the next pass. Stay out of the way of the enemies and their bullets or meet your fate. Blast the aliens with your laser cannon to protect your ship. Now, I just want to try something now that you're not playing. Oh. Oops. So I think these adjust. This one here was Up adjusting. and down. So try it now. Yeah. So it's adjusting up and down to a certain degree. So you might want to put it lower because... We can't quite see the top. There we go. I'm not gonna I'm not. <laughs> What? Who said he was? <laughs> He's suggesting that you have oh, to be polite. Be polite oh, polite. I see. Yes. Uh, he is German. And they're very straightforward talking people. Like Americans as well. Canadians, Canadians are polite, very polite, but uh, friendly. Mm, depends where you are in Canada. Uh, okay, controls. Uh, all of them shoot lasers, so you can use any of those buttons once you're in the game. Uh, move in eight directions. Let's see, player selection. One, start the game. Button two, start two player game. Button three, fine tune the screen up. To fit the overlay, fine tune the screen down. So we did figure that out. Um, so we are using a um, third party controller, which is a joystick, which is much, much better than the built in ones. Ah! Oh my god, you dodged them. Don't go backwards, it's very dangerous. And well, they're all below me. They wrap around. No, they don't. They're spending all their time down there. No, they ra just keep going forward and they, they forward? come back. They come back around. What do you mean go for it? You mean I'm flying through space? You're flying through a very small planet. Like okay, I've already played many levels of this <laughs> and I didn't realize that that was happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am the dumb. <laughs> uh, gameplay. Your mission is to eliminate all aliens and to collect all fellow astronauts from the alien spheres. They can only be hit if they are below the horizon. 
If you collect an astronaut, a short oh, time of hyperspace mode will start. Is that an astronaut? No. It looks like a person with arms and legs. Uh, your total mission is divided into 33 le different levels, which will be repeated three times with increasing speed. The results in level number from 1 to 99. If you can solve level 99, the mission will restart at level 67. That means the first level of the fastest round. You start with five lives. Each 10,000 points, you will earn one extra life. Oh my god, you're really far from 10,000. So, not giving out the lives super readily. Ugh. I almost avoided it. Well, I thought that I died, and then <laughs> you, I died. You actually died. I have done that in games. Oh, That's oh, I don't shot. shoot. Don't shoot. Them. They uh, they're they're susceptible to your lasers as well. They are susceptible to being shot. <laughs> yes. In their bodies. A level is finished if only if all the enemies are killed. Are you playing with a rad pad? Ooh, I don't know the name. Yes, this is based off Juno first. You shot another dude. <laughs> no, I picked one up. Oh, did you? Okay. Good. I mean, maybe he, he got shot, but if he got shot, it's on him because I just picked up his buddy. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. It's a really nice uh, arcade-style joystick. I'll have to flip it over and take a look or show you on camera because I don't think it has a name on it. Uh, items. Your own ship. Use it to fire at your enemies with any of the four buttons. Uh, normal shots of the enemies, they cannot be destroyed. Guided shots, these shots try to follow you. You were talking about that earlier. Shooting will and eliminate them. There they are, little X's. Uh, butterfly, enemies emit normal shots. Glider, sometimes they come to your height, sometimes they try and get away. They emit normal shots. Box, they move like butterflies but emit guided shots. Hexagon, move in waves and emit normal shots. Diamond, they move in a very nasty way and emit normal shots. A snake. Have you encountered a snake? It moves. No, I haven't got a snake yet. <laughs> Consists of several elements where only the end piece is vulnerable. Fires guided shots. Uh, rotator. Okay, wait, wait. Um, I want to show the joystick on the screen after you put your name in. I don't know if it remembers it. I love this way of entering. Oh, it's, names. I was just about to rave it's about it. So oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, here. So this is the uh, controller. It has no name on it, no marking. So if you recognize it, but it does say Vectrex. It does say Vectrex? Yeah. Maybe I should put it right away. Um, maybe it is the Rad Pad. I am not sure. Let's see if I can get a reflection off of this. There we go. <laughs> So there you go. Rad pads normally have their name on the lower left-hand side. Mm. No, this one does not have any markings or names other than Vectrex on it. Not sure. Uh, oh yeah, we didn't do the results of the poll. One second. Um, I have one Vectrex, 8%. I have more than one, 25%. I have none but want one, 50%. And I have none and I'm not interested, 16. So 75, uh, like 85% of people either have one or want one, which is, which is very cool. They are awesome. I love the Vectrex. It is absolutely unique in the world of uh, gaming, except I guess, the closest thing you could compare it to is the Virtua Boy, almost. Even though that is not vector-based, it does have a screen built into it. Um, so this is an My instinct of running away from the bad guys was serving me well in my first uh, two plays. <laughs> and this time I was like, oh, I can go after them. And, <laughs> Messing uh, you up. It's, uh... Oh, let me look at the rad pad. Oh, no, no, no. I do have a rad pad. Um, that was like the first controller I bought for the Vectrex, but then um, I got this one, which is much bigger and much more arcade-like, which is my favorite type of controller is an arcade-style controller because I mostly play arcade-style games. I mean, a lot of people probably prefer... I mean, modern gamers probably prefer the D-pad for, like, platformers because they're used to playing Super Mario Brothers with a D-pad, but... 
I still like arcade controllers because that's what I use in the arcade. It's what I use on my Commodore 64, which is what I kind of grew up with playing games. Okay, button, da, 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 gameplay, we got that, we got that. Uh, Alien Sphere, if you free, if you hit this, a freed astronaut will appear. Okay, so if you see a ball, yep. uh, you shoot that, then the astronaut. After collecting the astronaut, hyperspace mode starts. You can see this because of the flashing background. At this time, any, true. any shooting of enemies will increase points. At the end of hyperspace mode, will be announced with a faster flashing. So hyperspace doesn't mean you're invincible. Just means you get more points. So then it lays out all the points, which you don't care about too much. You just get points for shooting things, shoot everything. Ah! High, high score memory is as long as your machine is on. Uh, uh, with here a primary cartridge in place, the highest score is retained. Is that really a feature? <laughs> to retain scores while your system's on? <laughs> Uh, to see this score, press the reset button. Oh, when the machine is off and the cassette is removed, not cartridge, ah! cassette, the score is lost. Um, if you want to restart the game with the same number of players, same gameplay option, uh, press any of the four buttons when the game is over. If you wish to restart the game before it's completed or change the number of players, press the reset button. So, concept code and in-game graphics, Ulrich Schultz. Uh, Schulz, overlay graphic and in-game logos, Oliver Lindau, uh, music, Kemil Wa Walnikovsky, ah! Walnikovsky, uh, box and manual design, Sebastian Bach from Polyplay. Very cool, and I bought this game because I really love Juno First, and I love shooters, and Juno First is a really great shooter. <laughs> one life left. Uh, I may build my own at some point, Nathan Strom says, if I can pro find a proper analog stick for it. I want a right-handed one. We can just buy, like, um, arcade sticks. Or are you talking about the small one? Yeah, you can always send him a PM to get on his list from what I've done in the past. AA ah! member Vert Vic. Oh, cool. Whoa! Wow, they really dive at you. Kitten. Kitten. If I die, I will still love you. Nothing will stop me from loving you, little buddy. Oh, no, don't shoot him. Hyperspace. It's just more points. They're not even coming down. What the hell? Because I'm in hyperspace? I don't know. Maybe it protects you from other guys coming down? Yeah. I know that the t-shirt is very enticing to get on, but <sighs> okay. that's Game where... Over. We need to see. Now it's my turn. Come on, Todd. Put my name in. Okay. I've literally never played this game. <laughs> yeah. Because it was shrink wrapped. Kidding. And after you punch in your initials, it auto uh, finds the enter button and Can then you, you press enter. Deal with this cat. Oh, beast. Oh, beast. Oh, Five you're so lives. beastly. Level one. Oh, this joystick's hot. Oh, too much kissing. Too much kissing. No, it's too much. Psst, psst, psst. Get him. Get him. He's attacking cables. Never good. Cleared. Juno first, instantly now available through Champ Games. Yes, that is true. Awesome, awesome game by um, CD W on the 2600. Highly recommended. It's got voice, it's got awesome graphics, it's got amazing gameplay. Why am I going back? <laughs> it's so much harder.
This is really good. Mmm. Cat. I really like the controls, but I don't even know what the difference is. Have a cat. Oh, buddy. Oh. It's interesting that the astronaut comes right away at the beginning of the level. It makes it a lot easier than on Hi. the Juno first, where it's in the middle of the level, and there's a billion guys trying to attack you. Whoa. Ah, oh, I should not be standing where things are appearing. <laughs> oh, oh, kill him. That's what I was doing the uh, first two times I played, was mostly just killing... Uh, <laughs> killing astronauts. Not recommended. I mean, they are just points. To them, they're not just points, but to you, they're just points. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if the volume level is good on the game versus us, because they're going through the same input, and I can turn up the game volume or turn it down. Did a test beforehand. It seemed, seemed pretty good. Cleared. Oh, don't go off the screen. No! No! Oh, he was still on the screen and I was going forward. Did he just give up? <laughs> just, I'm gonna just lay down. I'm so tired. So cold. And then he just disappeared. I just took too long. Well, I knew it. I should not be in the thick of things. Oh, yeah! I bet that's how you actually play the game. <laughs> <laughs> like a gyrus type. Yeah, uh, no, yeah. Galaga type, where yeah. you just like stand and destroy them as they come down. That's how the experts do it. I'm sure it is. That's what I started <laughs> trying to do, and it cost me uh, several lives at the beginning. That makes sense. Of the third game. Yeah, they don't come down when you're in this mode. They just stand up there. Try going backwards. Well, maybe. They'll come behind you. But... I don't want it. That's scary. Is it more scary than them suddenly appearing in your face at high speed? And These guys are not wanting to come down. That's their special power. Is avoiding me. Apparently. And then suddenly multiplying. Whoa. Yep. Like that. Yeah, right in front of you. Luckily, there's a bit of a time delay where you get a reprieve from dying if they appear right on top of you. They kind of warp there is, in. Yeah. 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 Enough for you to like back off and get out of the way. It's really well programmed. This yeah, I, I like it. Oh, I'm looking forward to Xevious as well. Oh, so looking forward to that. Ah! Oh! Whoa! Oh my god! Clear s oh. I don't know how I was surviving that, but... I'm dead. <laughs> Oh my god, this level is brutal. Clear some some room for myself. There we go. Thank you, Steve. It's a good compliment from someone as good at playing as you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> when we were at PRG, we went to an arcade and he had to walk away from an Asteroids game, arcade game, because he just had too many lives. And, he'd be on it, he's, and he was on it for like, I don't know, at least half an hour. <laughs> he is such a good player. Steve, ha um, have you ever gone for um, like a world record high score in any game before? Or are they just like way too high of a score? Or is it just like some of those high scores you have to dedicate like half a day to? 
Because it's just so long to get to the score that the score is. Oh, well, part of it is, do you have the endurance to yeah. sit, <laughs> stay there long enough to do it? Yeah. Skill and endurance. Because <laughs> some of them, you have to, like, rack up enough lives so you can walk away and go to the bathroom. Because <laughs> it's such a long game. Like, mo like, almost a day and a half, some of them, of playing straight these games. So it's just, yeah, it is enduring. Can't go too fast. You're very high up on the screen when you're um, trying to go forward. But it's kind of a give and take. So it's always a bit better to go slower when you're going forward and back off a bit. Oh my god, too many people. No! What did I make it to? Level 9. Level 9. Okay, I'm gonna play one more game. I'll put in my name. So that it can retain it till I turn it off. Oh, it automatically goes to the. That's what I was saying. That's it automatically... nice. I didn't know that because. And then you have to press it, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, after you put in the third letter, it automatically scrolls to the end, which is obvious that's what you want to do okay one more go this is a really good game it's exactly what i hoped it would be All right. oh he's still there good i didn't make it to the snake guy either i wonder what level that appears on like in juno first there are patterns like when you're shooting shooting enemies where you can go do 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 like, like that where you can kind of line them up mm -hmm. and that gets you through the levels really quick is that also on deck direct you know first uh or is it a different no no it's only I, th I think this is the only version that's been made or port of it i don't think it was like ever originally like very few people would want to redo a game that's already on the system unless it's like a real stinker version that was released No. It's definitely not in the original run. I don't know if anybody has made uh, another homebrew version of it. I'm not... Like, I know a little bit about the homebrew... Like, games that have been released for the Vectrex through homebrew, but not, not an expert at it. Because so I do have some, like, probably 20 homebrew games for the Vectrex. But I don't, like, get every single game that comes out. Just the ones I want. But I think it'll be fun. This is among them. And I think this was like 60 euros plus shipping. So not cheap. But it's a high quality game. But after looking like gameplay footage online. I was like yeah. Yeah this, this is going to be good. Oh. read what Nathan Strums typed there. We hope to make some more progress on Xevious once Spider's Arcade is, in a, is a little further along. Mm. I've been sorting out the Andor Genesis battle play fields since they can't be asymmetrical. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Andor, I believe, is the big ship at the end of Xevious. I'm not a Xevious expert. I've only played, like, a little bit of home versions of it. Uh, not much in the arcade. Um, but uh, Zevis is a, a collaboration between Chris Walton, CD-W, and um, Nathan Strum and John Champeau. Um, so it is actually a Champ Games game rather than a Champ Games Presents game. Because Champ Game Presents games are games that are made by other people, but distributed by Champ Games. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Did I get him? Or did I shoot him? I don't know. Just throwing too many bullets. I'm down here. This is... Oh my god. This is the level that... The guys just sit at the top. Hey! Tari! Down in front. Thank you. <laughs> Level's brutal. <laughs> like, they're just sitting up there taking pot shots at me and avoiding me. There we go. Oh, 
like this is styled after Juno first, but the the waves and enemies are are different than Juno first, hmm. which is kind of nice. You get a different game because you can always play the original Juno first on a arcade emulator. What level? Level six. Is this the one with tons of enemies coming out? Do we have to clear a path? Yes, it is. There we go. Enemies fill the screen and you are in danger. Um, any TV series you're watching, Darcy? Or Pass movies? Master. Your taskmaster, making your way through every. Uh, we're on the most recent. Uh, watching the UK first. Or? That's the only one we're watching. Yeah, there's very oh, little chance tomorrow we'll watch um, Australian or New Zealand taskmaster. What? Why? She just I don't likes know. Whatever host? it is, whenever there's a Australian something, she she'll try to watch it. And she'll be like, what? <laughs> it's the she used to be like, she used to be like that with British accents though. So oh, okay. Slowly, I've been able to get her to. <laughs> you know, I guess you just it's never watch for it. It is. It's, it's just that you have to experience it. Yeah. And if you haven't, then it's not as easy. Yeah. But it's well, there's just two people from the whales. She just like newest, never watched anything one. like that. Yeah. She's never watched anything like that. I guess. Yeah. Uh, when she was younger, this is a snake. Oh, I made it. Oh my god, what a... You made it past the snake before, but this oh. time you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's heat-seeking missile, that's what yeah. got me. You have to shoot the tail. And the tail gets... Oh, it's like a boss. That makes sense. The tail gets shorter and shorter as you shoot the tail. Oh uh, god, it's getting close to me. Get out of here. Until you get it down to just its head. There we go! Destroyed! Giant kitten boss. Yes. When the cats get in front of this, it is the kitten boss. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this has 99 levels. Well, 33 levels, and then it repeats and gets harder. So I don't think I'll be able to make it up to level 33. But I'll give it my best shot. That's how you do it. Back here. Butterflies. You're like running away. Coming You're on level nine bottom. again. That's, I think, where you got to last time. Oh, am I? Okay. Yeah. And I believe you have more lives than last time. Well, I always try to do better <laughs> the second time around than the first, so that's a good thing. But it does get to a point where you get worse. Oh, sometimes... Often, normal for me is to do better on the first try <laughs> than the next many subsequent try tries. <laughs> um, we are making our way through The Boys um, TV oh, yeah? show. It's so crazy. Oh my god, that was so dumb. Oh, three lives. Uh, it's so crazy, but so good. We are on um, season four, which is the newest season. And, uh, so we're almost caught up. Hey, oh my god. There we go. What? Is that not an astronaut? I guess not. Something else. Oh god. Oh god, heat seeking missiles. Causing me grief. Atari the cat of the Atari the company. What did I say about Atari? Let's see. I can't remember. I it was it, Atari was like the in the way. <laughs> Atari, you're in the way, company. Atari was no. It was uh, no. The comment was Atari won't somebody pay attention to me? <laughs> you know, nothing's from it. Atari the cat or Atari the company. <laughs> Is that why you keep putting out these products so that you get attention? Oh no! It's too much stuff on the screen. Is it or is it the right amount of stuff? Yeah. Uh, Right now, amount of stuff to defeat me. Which <laughs> <laughs> is go. good. You don't want to be down your first try. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you want a game to be challenging. 
not easy. Because if it's too easy, it's boring and you don't want to play it. This verges on too easy. I'm doing, I think, a little too well for my second try. But it depends on how hard the game... It's still challenging, which is keeping my interest. And um, But I'm used to games being like arcade level hard, which is like, you're lucky if you... <laughs> if you get uh, past five minutes of gameplay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like level one is like the gimme level. And then level two is like, yeah, this is where we take your quarter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, the movement is very erratic. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're like, slow, slow, slow. Dive at you and kill you! Slow, slow, slow. Those guys! You! Look like a Tesla logo. One life, no. Level 13. Whoa, whoa, whoa. At least oh. something different. Oh, that's very cool. <clears throat> oh. oh. No! No! Oh. Just as I got to the cool thing. So it was like the snake. You had to hit the outside rings and move in. Uh, might as well. Really good game. Highly, highly, highly recommended if you like Juno first. Okay, it's time to unbox <clears throat> and play the next game. Let's turn the lights back on. Sorry, direction. Oof. Nothing like a light in the eye. Okay. Next game is of a dual game. Actually, I, no, I'm fine. So let's get the cat cam over here. With no cats. Meow. Darcy is a stand-in for the cats Meow. while they're away so I can get the right lighting. <laughs> no, bad cat! Bad Darcy! <laughs> In case you missed that, that was. So, Gyrostronomy. And this is a... I would say trying to be a faithful-ish port to Gyrus. Which is very exciting because it is one of my favorite arcade games. Gyrostrology. So you get the choice of gyrostrology or gyrostronomy for displaying. They're both on one cartridge. It is not two different games. It is more of like a reskin of the same game. So both have the same gameplay. Just you get a choice of box display and also overlay display which which side is up let's take out the manual get everything out come on there we go let's take a look at uh, i purchased my copy of gyrostronomy and gyrostrology along with cavern rescue from sean kelly at prg yeah at that point i had already bought this like i just bought it unfortunately um, it would have been uh, cheaper to save on shipping to get it directly from him. And then I forgot to buy the covers because he had covers for uh, Vectrex to keep the dust out. Mm. And I was like, okay, I'll come back and buy those because I was filming at the time and I never came back. And I was like, God damn it. When I got home, I think um, Steve said did you get those uh did you get those covers for your vectrex i'm like oh my god no i didn't damn it but i still will want them so i'll probably um buy them through the mail so here's the overlay oh my god why am i having so much trouble so you can pick between gyrostrology or gyrostronomy and it just depends which which way the words are so it's got a uh, little divot at the top 
and at the bottom, or the bottom and at the top, because that's how you put it in and out. Put your little finger there, and you put it in. So we are going to be gyrostronomy. There we go. Put that in, and let's take a look at the manual quickly. Dark has been my dreams of late. I will read that out after. So, a star background. Lots of story. Oh my god, lots of story. I don't know if I'll be able to read all that. We'll see. On the stream. Might be a bit much. I'll read a bit of it. Hi Atari. Cat in the corner. There's all the pages of the manual. Uh, there are no illustrations whatsoever, except on the last page. There you go. And the manual can be displayed as well. But it does not... Re oh, it, no, it doesn't repeat. So they are showing that it's gyrostrology, because that's where the manual is open up to, mostly. It's the right way up. Gave away their hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pop it in and put the camera back the way it's supposed to be. Get the cat cam back. Hi, cat. Oh, Hello. Hi, blinkers. Yeah, only twenty dollars. Yeah, it's a really good deal for the covers. So I was gonna get two, one for each of my vector sizes. <laughs> uh, that's very crooked. There we go. Oh. Down a bit. Okay, kittens, are you ready? I'm gonna turn off these lights again. Reduce the reflections as much as possible. So you don't need to see our faces. That one too or no? Uh no. Just just down a bit. Okay, and switch it over. And let's get it going. Vectrex. Entertaining new ideas. Still in 2024. 40 years later. So... Doesn't matter. You can always switch. Um, that's one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to press. Okay. I think. Maybe that's one. Yeah, that's one. Never mind. Gyro astronomy? It is, is that the, the one? Correct, yeah. correct way. It doesn't matter. Greetings, Zar Astra. Press fire to activate gyroscope. The tie-dye overlay, yes, it is. Programmed by P. Johansson. Oh, I was gonna show some stuff first. Okay, don't don't start playing. Yeah. Um This is what. So the developer of this game. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh one okay. second. One second, one second. Is actually, um, their name is Pierre Johansson, and they are a, a professor and doctor uh, at Forsheim, Germany, 50 kilometers west of Stuttgart. Um, and they teach a retro programming course, and using the Vectrex as the system mm. that the students are programming for. And so this is their website for the, um, I'll show you. This is the website for their course in 2023, Vectrex Academy Retro Programming. And on the page, they show all the games that the students have made. 
and you can play the games that the students have made. Oh, that's cool. So, Vec Pong, Cliff Jump, Get in Shape. Here, I'll... Oh. I can... Schwaben? Schwaben? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, getting them ready for the, all those 6809 jobs. Oh, the plethora of them. Um, so, Get in Shape, Vectrif, Happy Bird, Tank Master, etc., etc. So... They had uh, 15 students in the class. Oh, minus two. 13 students in the class. Uh, Vec T Run Run. Um, yeah, some some cool things in here. And I guess looking at the names of the students, uh, I think they were encouraged to come up with really, really geeky online names. <laughs> Pixel Blast. Or cool you could just dude. go, oh, it's people that want to do retro gaming from... Yeah. <laughs> and they don't want to put their real names up. Yeah. Stack Overflow, MRX, Alt 4 for save. Mental Error, Apollo, Code Crush, Rage Hacker, uh, Exception. So funny. Oh, German Tribe, Schwaben. Okay. Um, and there's his email. And uh, yeah, they're uploaded, final release of project, latest modifications. I allow my Vectrex to collect, collect dust naturally, as the original creators intended. Schwabenland a few weeks ago. I have been to that Schwabenland. Interesting. Um, so here is the game. Uh, it's available on VectrexMulti.com. Uh, $50. Always assume that's US, unless it says Canadian. And I'm usually right, because... Uh, the world works on U.S. dollars. Uh, new, brand new Vectrix Gyrostronomy. Gyrostrology gyro box games with manuals and overlay. Written by Pierre Johansson and graphic design work by Stephen Gross. Extremely well done version of an arcade classic. Uh, un unmentioned. Uh, in which you attempt to complete two different missions as two different heroes. Gyro comes in Vectrex first rotatable overlay. That is true. Um, and I think that's it that I wanted to talk about here. Let me just make sure I got it all. Um, yes, that's it. Hey, can you calm, calm your little cat fur? Completely calm. Was he attacking him? He, he, okay, he save Bernie. It's not save Ferris, save Bernie. Okay, you ready? Yep. Let's do this. I'll read out some two and one overlay. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it looks almost exactly the same upside down as it does right side up. Dark, can you like calm, calm, calm your cat fur, please? Thank you. So you want to start at the beginning. Yeah. What was it? Ursa Major? Okay. You just shoot and avoid. There are pickups to get. Um. There you go. So it is gyrus, and it has like gyrus music in it too. <laughs> Chase him! Get him! <laughs> oh no! Yep. I wanted to see if it was possible. <laughs> it's not. So on his website, he re uh, lists his research domains as computer science, algorithms, logic, software development, programming techniques, puzzle based. I did not even see that bullet. <laughs> <laughs> They're tiny. Mm. Puzzle-based learning and computer science, robotics, robotic, robot programming, and formal hardware verification. Um, so this is a port of gyrus, or, you know, a, a kittens. Can you calm yourself? Uh, so gyrus is a shoot 'em up arcade game designed by Yo Yoshiki Okamoto and released by Konami in 1983. Gyrus was initially licensed to Century in the United States for dedicated machines before Konami released their own self-distributed converging kits for the games. Cats! Cats! Sorry. The cats are on the loose and they must be stopped. They sure are. They do need to be stopped. Thank you, Gamma Dev. Uh, gameplay is similar to that of Galaga in a tube shooter format. With the player ship facing into the screen and able to move around the perimeter in an implicit circle. Stars coming to view as at the center of the screen fly outward, giving the impression of the player ship moving through space. So, uh, about the designer of Gyrus, Yoshiki ok Okamoto, his early games are Time Pilot and Gyrus, both 
ship-centered action. Uh, innovated in the shoot-up shoot up genre during the golden age of arcade games. The right. killer lists of video games include both Gyrus and Time Pilot and a list of top 100 games of all time. Although these games turned out to be successful titles for Konami, o Okamoto's employer was not happy, as apparently Okamoto had been told to create a driving game instead. Oops. <laughs> Glad he didn't. This is much better than... Uh, oh, this is not in Gyrus, but... So it's not quite like Gyrus. It's, it's as much like Gyrus as the other game was to Juno first. But this is like an accidentally uh, higher level... Uh... Oh, did you set the level up a bit? I didn't intend to, but I, uh, I got caught in a, a, a time loop of... Uh... <laughs> caught in time loop. Um, so, about the music, which is one of my favorite video game tunes of all times. Uh, the game's background music is an electronic, up-tempo arrangement of J.S. Box, Toccata, and Fugue in D minor, uh, BWV565. This particular track is similar to Toccata, a rock arrangement by the UK-based instrumentalist group Sky. So it's actually based on a cover by uh, electronic music group Sky, based on um, J.S. Box song. Uh, Gyrus uses stereo sound, which according to the bonus material for Konami Arcade Classics, was achieved utilizing discrete audio circuits. The audio system consists of five three-voice general instruments AY38910A sound chips. So 15 voices in the arcade um, was used for the music and sound effects. But, interestingly enough, the Vectrex has the exact same sound chip as Gyrus in the arcades. So that's why it sounds very similar. Ah. But it only has one sound chip, so it only has three voices to work with. Make the sound a bit louder? You bet. Ah! Oh yeah, it's good. Let me make sure it's in focus. Oh yeah, it's in focus. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know how it gets out of focus, but it did. Come on. Leave it, leave it there. Leave mm -hmm, it there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Much easier to focus on words. Stable words. There we go. Much better. No! <laughs> uh, so, dark have by been my dreams of late when technology replaces thought, when superstition replaces faith, and when universes fa fall, will you believe in science or magic? A timeless conflict, two ancient factions, ever at war with each other. Oh, this one weapon. again. <laughs> uh, fall into the wrong hands, reason abandoned for madness, an epic battle, the moment of utmost despair, and then two heroes arising. A brand new game finally makes its way to Vectrex, coming as two battles, switchable live throughout the game. You know you can switch with the first button between the two different games. They change things slightly. No, I know, uh, uh, but, like, I pr tried, I must, I don't understand the menu completely, <laughs> and when I pressed the first button, it didn't do it this time. I don't know. Oh. Mm. It's all right. Uh, this is probably more interesting than me, uh, running into bullets. That's the bonus. Yeah, but I, I didn't get it. The wrong side I don't know if you noticed, but I, I didn't get it. Oh, you didn't get it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Space is changed. You can feel it in the void. You can see it in the skies. The stars have faded. The signs, which at first were bright and clear, have all but disappeared. A secret now that only fire can tell. Much that once was lost, for now none live. Ah! None now live who remember. <laughs> this is a really long story. Oh my gosh. Uh, I wonder if this one is would be categorized as not too easy <laughs> this is uh challenging 
Does it start with the lines? No, that's only if you go to a different... Oh, okay. Hanger. Okay. Uh, Gyrostrology and Gyrostronomy are single-player games and are designed to be played with the built-in controller panel only! So we are going against convention and we're not using the built-in control panel. Terrible. Terrible. The Gyromancer space vessel is powered by the last gyroscope. The ship is operated by an advanced gyro compass construction. 6809 high level CPU, ah. which triggers a structured sequence and a low level angular spinning momentum. And to operate the gyroscope control engine, GCE, which is socketed on a mixed signal di digital analog motherboard, MB. It is the only ship of its time equipped with circular rotation technology, CRT and a 360-degree radial thrust and steering system. The propulsion system consists of a combination of three safety-redundant jet drives controlled by a Victorial Inertial Accelerator, VIA. Uh, while a single working jet drive is still sufficient for the ship's operation, damage or loss of all three of them results in fatal explosion of the onboard gyroscope and thus in the other destruction of the ship and all immortal life aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Destruction of all immortal life. Immortal life? You can only destroy... You can only destroy immortal life. You can't kill it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. According to the unconfirmed rumors, the failure... Ugh. ...is all destroyed. Uh, defenses. The Gyromancer does not have an active, active defensive system. Oh, my. Any... What? Did you die unexpectedly? Like, the moment I w became corporeal, like, bullets came and blew me up. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what was happening. Oh, no. I'm going to read a bit more, and then I'm going to take over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by our, the battle intended offense system BIOS of the Terramancer consists of an upgradable 8KB killer blast, front cannon operating at a maximum rate of 1.5 megahertz. Hertz. This is... Hey, Kabuto Coder. Welcome, welcome. Crunch the Clown. I played Gyros for the 5200 for the first time. Great game. I can't believe it is on the 5200. I don't think I've played the 5200 version of it. I played the uh, 2600, and it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's quite competent for, you know, what they had to work with. Uh, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, story does give it... Any hints. Uh, scoring. In true combat space, there are no scores. The game's objective. Oh, a completion by percentage. So there's no scoring in this game. It's all percentage based. How so it's make scoring. It. So scoring is percentage based, is what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> so there is score, but it's percentage based. <laughs> but there's no scoring! But there's no score. Because literally. We raise you, we don't score you. In this game, you have to destroy everything. So, your score would be the same as any of anybody else's score uh, that only it made it just if, as far. Only if other factors don't matter. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if you can miss things that would. Like, how many did you score. shoot? How many times did you shoot? How many? Uh, how much time did you take to shoot everything? Because some games are time based. Some games are shot missed games, like in 1942. Okay. Ah, my turn. But that's only for interests sake um so gyrostronomy gyrostrology which one have you been playing gyrostronomy uh, astronomy. okay yeah. uh, um, but like uh, i don't know how different they are because um like for instance astrology if you did astrology instead of astronomy yeah so this is selecting oh, this is God. selecting and this is choosing so this is menu Yes. Menu, I think, yeah. and choice. Okay. Oh, okay. Like confirm. The fire button, yeah. The fire button is on the right. Oh, but this is astrology, and that's fine. So do it. And... Oh, and then you go back. The The menu is very slow to react. Like, when you press a button, it doesn't do the thing right away. Uh, so you have Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces... Aries, which is... Oh, it's only four. Um, oh, Taurus. Gemini. Cancer. Oh! It's acting like you shoot. So you press up. It'll mm. go all the way to the top. 
So what's the first one? Oh no. I think it's Hercules. Hercules. Or whatever whatever that Capricorn. one is. Capricorn. Top. Sure. Okay. Let's see if I die in the <laughs> Seem unreadable so far. So. What's that? The difficulty doesn't seem unreasonable, so this might be the first level. Or maybe you have to just do all of them. No, I think you. I think you did pick the. I think you were correct in the one that you picked. Yeah. This is the same as uh, first major. Oh, I didn't explain the controls to you, but it looks like you figured them out. Pressing up will make you go to the top of the screen. Pressing left will make you go to the left side of the screen. Pressing down makes you go to the bottom. I didn't know that you could, I didn't know the top and bottom. I knew that you rotated yes. by going right and left. Oh, okay. Yeah. You kind of press in the direction you'd like your ship to end up at. Which will make you go left and right. But it's a little bit more intuitive than just a straight left and right. Because left... Left and right at the top of the screen are going to be le different than left and right at the bottom. Yeah. So you rotate the, essentially you rotate the joystick to it. Yes. But it's but it's like it's a delay. Yes, that's right. Yeah. It's, and are it's there really paddle neat. wheels for vector? Uh, yes. Dr there's driving. The driving controller from the Atari Twenty Six Hundred can be used on the Vectrex. And a paddle wheel wouldn't work in this game, anyways, because. You, you don't get to move perfect speed. What I mean is, what I mean is that like, oh, it's not like, like it's not like a paddle game where it puts the, your paddle where you turn your right. Yeah. It wouldn't be a good idea to use a paddle because if you've got the paddle turned all the way to the right, you wouldn't be able to go any more right unless you. Got the power up. Double shot! Yeah, I got two power ups in one, but I couldn't I couldn't tell you what they did. <laughs> you could use the paddle to say constantly go right if you're spin spun to the right at all. And sure. Then constantly yeah. go left, but then it would be very hard to stop. Well, not really, because you'd have a dead zone. It oh, would just be a bad, bad idea. Yeah, now I'm back to one. Weird. Does the double shot only last? But then I should have been back Maybe up to the Maybe you're shooting double. faster. Oh, it could be. It's not auto fire. Unfortunately. Yeah. And in the arcade, I use I leave Gyrus as my last game I play because it doesn't have auto fire. And my hand is dead mm. after playing Gyrus. And it's really unfortunate that the people who made Gyrus didn't expect people to be constantly firing the button. Because on games where you're constantly firing the button, you might as well make it auto fire. Because it just makes people's hands wear out. Unless you want their quarters. And then you don't make it auto fire. Oh, oh my god. This is the one. Oh my god. This is the one that like and you better move right away. Can you kill them? Or no. Uh, maybe, maybe, but they start shooting. They start coming at you immediately, oh, uh, and like oh, they came right at me two two lives in a row. <laughs> oh no! And, I, and the first one, I had just looked up to see a chat thing. Oh no! Because <laughs> there's rocks and enemies, but that's how the, the arcade is. Yeah, yeah. There's levels with rocks or asteroids. Yeah, gameplay's great in this. Yep. The graphics are great. The music's awesome. Yeah. Because it's using the same chip as the arcade, which is so so cool that it can do that. And this is a game meant for a scaling type system, a system that can do scaling really nice. And vectors are infinitely scaled. Yeah, yeah. Is the huge strength of the Vectrex. It's perfect for any kind of scaling type game. No! Game over? No? That seems like a game. Oh, no! Just took a wild game. Oh my god. <laughs> 3%! 
the paddle angle could define the speed. That that's true. Or just a constant spin. <laughs> that definitely looks easier. Or is it just James? <laughs> uh, it's not easy. <laughs> this is a this is a, a hard game. Um, should I go ahead one? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, how do you just get? You're only going one because the inner thing only goes over one step. The outer thing it just looks fantastic but she oh okay see I, mean? I see yeah. i see so i should go to i don't know what i made it to i don't think i made it anywhere i don't think you made it anywhere no we're gonna start again then that's pathetic didn't you make it to the <laughs> first first constellation it's not easy which is good well it's also good that they let you skip ahead because it's so damn hard that you get to see other levels. I'm gonna play this level again and then I'm gonna skip. You! Get back here! Oh, oh, oh. I almost got up. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it was just me, buddy. Oh, I'm I go back to sleep. I have my COVID shot after this. They alerted me like it's available. Your flu and COVID shot, and um, and I looked at the the booking times. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the message was sent me late late last night, and and so I looked, they're like, okay, book it. So I look at the booking times, and the booking dates were yesterday at 9 p.m., of which there were zero, and today, and I'm like, well, like, and that's it. That's all they had. I don't know if they go day by day. So I booked it for today, after the show, obviously. It's not your own show. It's not a home, home show. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have an event to go to tonight, so hopefully... Oh my god, I forgot. Oh my god. Um, so hopefully I don't get any... Yeah, I guess you just have to make sure you're shooting. But I don't know... I, I don't know if the asteroid... Um, can hit you even if you were shooting. Like, is there an angle where you can't hit it, but it will still hit you? I think so. Yeah, if you're shooting and you go into the side of it yeah. at the right time, yeah, you like I just did, you could. So you're going tomorrow? Oh my god. No, it's actually today. I was talking. Oh, That right, happened right. yesterday for today. This and where do you go? Ass. Oh, just across the street. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I could walk to it. That's awesome. It, it, it's really convenient. Is it like a clinic? Uh, yeah. Like I a mean, walking clinic or what? No, it's it's like a pharmacy, like a really small pharmacy. Oh, okay. Is that one across? The I guess it makes sense that you would go to a pharmacy now. Yeah. They don't have like big uh, COVID centers. Three percent. No, I think, but I think they all start in the um, in the fall. So everybody, I guess they're staggered. I'm ancient enough that I get ahead of the line a little bit. <laughs> I'm past that next hump of 50 years old. Damn it. <laughs> so let's go to the next one just to see some different stuff. Nice take on Gyrus. I like the additions they made to it. Got to bounce. Time to get some lunch. Well, thanks for hanging out, Nathan. Yeah, this is really good. Maybe the difficulty is... A little high. <laughs> Maybe I'm useless. Oh my god. I need a lot of practice on this. The bullets are super tiny. That's yep. my defense. Uh, yeah, and the screen is further away from you than you would play. Yeah. That's what I thought. I thought I was forgiving myself for being particularly bad. <laughs> Even more even worse than normal and yeah just, this and the bullets are quite small and that's what was killing me and i just literally was not seeing them yeah uh, like they're, they're, because there's all sorts of other non-bullet things shooting at you and the bullets are bigger than that but like from here it's not necessarily clear that it's a bullet or not a bullet oh that was terrible uh let's go so i think you should level. go to an next yeah. yeah yeah um and there's stars which kind of mix in they are the stars are very tiny they stay tiny yeah. but they do mix in a bit with the bullets yeah because, that's what i mean it's it's because it is a monochrome yeah. 
system. What I'm saying is I don't think the bullets are actually too small. No. They appear too small when we're sitting a little too far away. Whoa. Yeah. These are definitely a higher level. We, we did start on the lowest level. This is brutal. A one level. You have, like, no time to react to the bullets. <laughs> when they're coming out of a ship that's kind of close to you. So... Whoa. I think what it is is you're blowing stuff up that has shrapnel. Maybe. Maybe. There might or be shrapnel. Or it's just that they're close. Oh, that was so fast! Okay, next level. Oh, it starts over. Okay. One more. That's an There you one. go. Okay. Pisces. I think that might be where I went. Oh, You'll to the lines? Yeah. I've, I've been hoping somebody would be making would make a 2600 game that had these lines. That you have to oh, 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 no. Which one would you go to? Is it actually a different game when you're playing on the uh, That's astronomy? something. It, when you played the first level, I think it's the same game. Okay. I think it's the same game you because your when you were playing the first level of astrology, yeah. it seems like the the same as the first level of the other one. Okay. And I think it's just whether, whether you see. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. It, it, which constellations do you see? That's yeah. what it is. And what the name is on the screen yeah. to warps to the. Uh, this level doesn't seem as bad as the last one. It's a lot less trouble going on in the screen. I sat pretty close to the screen, didn't make a difference. The stars do blend into the game's difficulty. Borders on frustrating. I don't know if there's anything you can do to fix it. You have to have bullets. And maybe it's just. You have to have stars. And they do make. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Whoa, okay. Is it just getting your way? Yeah, you yeah it doesn't it, it doesn't it doesn't protect you, but it stops you. Oh god. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a cool twist. This is a definitely a different take on gyrus. Which is awesome. Because, like I said, you can play gyrus. Anywhere you want. Uh, with main. But you can play this game. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I can barely see it. You have no time to react. Having said that, I couldn't stop playing it. <laughs> exactly. We don't have a large enough area to respond to enemy shots, and they do tend to blend too much. Not sure what could be done since it's a black and white system. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. And it resets, which I don't like in games when it resets. Next. It should stay Aries. everything you set it to last because you're going to want to play the same game again. Theoretically, you usually play the same game. We were going through levels to show them off. What the torture am I in for now? Oh my god, what's happening? Do I have to blast them away? Oh oh, okay, okay. Oh, it blinks. Oh my god. Blinks when you're hitting it. Yeah. So this is kind of like um, Star Castle. Oh my god. Oh uh, my you god. could what you could do is make the stars not move as fast. Like they move oh, yeah, they move quite yes. fast and the bullets move fast. And if the difference between the speed of the bullets and the stars is greater, then um, And and these bullets aren't hard to see. They're, they're just this is they're just harder. This is a harder level. They should be harder. Yeah. Um but it's the first level oh bullets that are... Um... It is like Star Castle. If you shoot all of the protections, it comes back. But if you leave just one left, you're fine. There we go. One and one. But I have to be very careful not to shoot them. Or they'll come back again. Very cool twist. Oh my god. I am... 
the worst at Star Castle. I'm so <laughs> bad at Star Castle. I mean, this is much easier than Star Castle. Because there's also um, heat seeking things coming after you. And you're not in a fixed position, you're thrusting around the whole screen in Star Castle. For people like Thomas, who love thrust based games, who actually made Star Castle <laughs> on the 2600. It's much easier for him. For me, I get my ass kicked by first space games. How many enemies are there? Come on, stop! Stop coming out! I've killed enough of you! <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you have not. No, I haven't. Oh, I think we're... Yeah! Ah, there you go. Disappears. That's awesome. Yep, it's camera. Camera uh, pointed at it, yeah. Darcy and I were discussing before the show how you could... Like, Darcy was wondering that too. Uh, if the cable going out was a capture, some sort of capture device, but it's for audio. And then I was theorizing how you could kind of capture the Vectrex. The only way I... I thought of is that you would have a data stream coming out of the Vectrex, which represented what you're seeing on the screen. Like, this is a line, it goes here, then draw this line. Um, and then it would go into... Oh my god, they're so slow. <laughs> like, if you don't get in front of... Oh, if you don't get in front of them, they block you. Um, and then it would go output to, like, almost a computer emulator that would reinterpret it and then draw it on the screen. But then you might as well run the game on an emulator. I was trying to get that. I think the number... I don't know if this is true, but I think the number of, like, jets shooting out the back, thrusters out the back of your mm. vehicle is the number of lives you have. Mm. That would be a very good way of showing All it. All I know is that when you had two lives, you had two. And when you're on your last life, for the very short period of time I was looking, it was just mm. seemed like one. I don't know if, I don't know if it was the case. Do though. one, one more. more. Oh, you oh. gotta go. The, oh no, yeah, there gotta we go. go. I have to press Taurus. down now. Taurus. Vectrex Captrex. Captrex. Okay. Before we start, I'm gonna look at that. The Vectrex Captrex. Where's my mouse? I made something utterly pointless but totally worth it. The Vectrex Captrex, the only way to truly capture a Vectrex screenshot. Full report and videos here. Well, I might as well show that in the screen. Uh, our retro challenge is to take a screenshot of a Vectrex in the most convoluted, nerdy, and pointless way possible. Uh, okay. Here's a pre presentation. Okay. The idea. That's what we want. Somehow tap the analog XY intensity values going to the CRT and the Vectrex and then send them to the plotter. Oh, it's a literal screenshot. Okay. That's pretty funny. That That is cool. Yeah, we were thinking that you would take like that information time. and then make a, a, a plotter on your screen that just plotted what it was receiving to the CRT. Yeah. So this is like capture it over a period of time because if you do an instant capture it's a dot mm -hmm. like it's a moving dot on the screen essentially and our eyes are tricking us into thinking it's lines um but this is doing like capture one sixtieth of a second or one thirtieth of a second and plot that there's an intermediate stage which is on the pc display oh okay so, oh, I see. Yeah, that's really, really slow. At least on that spot. Success, that's the plotter. Maybe this, let's see. Does this show it on the computer screen? No, it's just showing it on the plotter. Oh, is it capturing it over and over and over again? Not exactly a kit you could order. Mm, that'd be an expensive kit. 
I want to see the actual screen capture, though. Is this it? This is it, right? That's not, that's not real time. Or is it real? Maybe it is real time and then it just races after a while because it just makes a mess. Because this is Mindstorm, the built-in game. Maybe. It's really hard to tell. Drawing the vectors worked. Drawing the sound as vectors. Oh my god. Uh, what does it sound like? Um, oh, we're on the sound. Audio sampling enough. Detecting a frame. Faking a vector display beam. I've only got continuously moving x, y, z raw values to reinterpret them as vectors in my code. I tried to rechecking the rate at which the direction changes. So if it changes quickly, it's probably a new line. Also, the... Oh, very cool. The echo there is real-time, but not clearing. Hmm. Very interesting. Thank you for that link. So it's kind of what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's check out Taurus. And that's cool they made it into a clock because there's 12 zodiac signs. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! The reaction time you need in this game is brutal. What? What hit me? I didn't even see it. Was it a star or was it a tiny, tiny, tiny bullet? Or is it something hiding behind something else? Whoa, whoa. And it's like, what was that? What was that that I shot? I know. That was an asteroid. Yeah, that Sometimes last... they come very quickly. I think firing constantly is definitely a good idea. Oh, these guys are tough. You have to get them on the way back. And don't run into them. That was pathetic. <laughs> that was very hard. A Vectrex Academy game. So he's naming it after his course. That's very cool. Okay, we're doing one more. Darcy oh, Thress right. said that... Oh, uh, we haven't been looking, yeah. Yeah, I forgot to look. Yeah, that's cool. So, one... One more Taurus. Then we're done. Gemini. Did I get two ships? No. Oh, there we go. Three. Three thrusters. So it goes down to... So three in reserve. Or three, including this one. That's right. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense in this context. Normally, I really don't like the displaying one life as the life you're on. Mm -hmm. It was like an in reserve. Yeah. I mean, this isn't. Yeah. Yeah. It, the context is different. Is different. Yeah. And, it, and it works. It's yeah. like, oh, you ran out of thrusters. You're dead. Uh, I would say the collisions are definitely pixel perfect. Um, they are hardware based collisions because you have to detect. It's probably bounding boxes, but who knows how they programmed it. I'm sure you can do a collision based on line crossing if you're good at the maths. Obviously, bounding boxes are easier. I, I don't it's know. It's very interesting that the challenge is that they don't move. It, yeah. They, they wiggle back and forth. And some you can't get past. Until they come off the screen and pop down at the bottom again. They don't just stay at the top, right? Yeah. Not forever. And they oh. seem to... Have, oh, this is maybe... Pattern. Is this the beginning? Do you have to start over? No, you don't. No. Well, luckily... Those games where you have to start from the beginning every time. Sometimes it's a play. Hit boxes or hit discs. Or hit triangles. Or hit lines. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Sometimes the ships hide the bullets. Brutal! I'm a Gemini. Oh, okay. Actually, now that Darcy's out of the room, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do Libra, which is me. October. Well, that part of October. So, oh, actually, I should just go the other way. 
There we go. Libra. Promise. Most likely boxes. Okay. So I was, I was wondering what would make more sense in a vector-based system for detecting if you've hit something else. Whether there's easy and fast enough math to know if a line crossed another line? Or is it better to just do your boxes, your bounding box is inside my other bounding box? And trusses most likely boxes. I've done zero Vectrex programming. But if I was to do programming other than 2600, it would be Vectrex. Just because I'm fascinated with the uh, with the system. It's so it could unique. be it could be points. Like like it's it's like it's like it's saying where to send it next, right? So it's not drawing a line, it's just like a it's, point to a point to a point to a point? Yes. So yeah. it could just be like, did the points touch? Did the points go across a, I don't know. Well, yeah, that's, I see what, I see what you're saying. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. the line crossing Because the point, because, because... Oh my god, it's so hard, this game. Boxes map... Because the chances of the actual points touching is almost zero, yeah, yeah. Y yeah, yeah, you have to have a crossing line, so box math is much easier for this this CPU. Okay. Really great game. Hard as hell. But sometimes you want it hard because you get a lot more gameplay out of it. As long as it's not too hard that it's impossible to get it to that uh, that type of level and, and play it past one level. So I'm really happy with both my purchases. Cause I'm, yeah, they're both really good. Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, so I'll probably put that out in our... Uh, game night one of these vectrex is out and put one of these games on it probably the other one because this one's brutal <laughs> and people will be like ah, ah throw it down uh the enemies are cool yeah the enemies are really good uh, and the star castle like levels are cool too yeah nice spin on things i have a question yes is the crt in the vectrex different than i mean it's black and white but is it different than other monochrome monitors? Could you use another monochrome monitor? Mm -hmm. Okay. People have done projects mm -hmm. to make a big one. Make a big one. Yeah, yeah. Which is super cool. <laughs> so it's so it's the same. <laughs> like a, game, um, a number of a uh, arcade games were made with vector base. Like Star Wars is the most famous one. Yeah. I, ITC says yes and no on that. I mean, you have to do... You can't just throw a CRT in, in there. I, I'm sure there's different equipment you need to uh, alter. It uses a Samsung tube in it, and I think the replacements have been found from time to time that will work and match up, but it isn't super common. Mm. Hmm. Um, there's also been color Vectrexes made um, and actually hooked up to a Vectrex using the intensity of the beam mm -hmm. like how slow it's going the slower it goes the brighter it is like you move it faster it's less light because normally the color comes from which pixel it hits yes okay um or rgb photons um and they're aligned differently for yeah uh, and if screen. you changed color then you wouldn't you couldn't connect to dots because you would if you went from blue to green it wouldn't change color it it wouldn't draw a line because it would be i th i think it has different colored beams maybe not i i don't know how it works but it does use the intensity of the beam to translate to color so uh -huh. lower intensity it would go through a spectrum of colors right. lower intensity would start here higher intensity would be uh, the top. Uh, there's also this always the scope tracks project too. Oh, I guess you would output to an oscilloscope. So all you would need is the CPU. All you need is the desire to have an <laughs> even smaller screen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how big oscilloscopes <laughs> got, but they didn't. I get guess you could have big. a big oscilloscope, but that yeah. seems like it would be unnecessary. Usually, un and they're usually round too. 
Well, actually, not always round, but the early ones, I think, were round, just like televisions early on yeah. were round. Don't forget freaking lasers. It is a PCB that can hook up to a scope and, yes, play Vectrex on it. Uh, that's super cool. Um, and I should get working on my Pytrex project. They made a cartridge with a Raspberry Pi CPU in it so you can accelerate your um, calculations and also so you can <laughs> emulate arcade games because they would be fast enough to do the emulation um, the CPU inside of the cartridge so kind of like the ARM chips inside of the Atari 2600 cartridges it would do a lot more processing faster and get the graphics prepared on the screen Obviously, you're limited by the speed of the beam still. So you can only draw so many lines on the Vectrex, but you can get quite a lot of lines on the Vectrex. You can buy boards for that from the Brewing Academy. Are you talking about the, oh, the scope tracks? Oh, nice. Let's take a look at that. How, I'm trying to remember how Star Wars, it had multiple colors in it. It, it was a color. It was um, color. Yeah. Okay. Color okay. arcade game. Vector gaming on your oscilloscope. $200. Well, yeah. Or you can go cheaper. Oh, my God. Bear motherboard is 15 but fully assemble and test is 200 And what is the... Uh, scope tracks controller PCB. Oh, took up to the scope tracks? Oh, wow. That's a big... It must be... Oh, there's quite a lot on that motherboard not too much but quite qu actually quite a lot yeah there's a <laughs> that's lot. a lot of soldering there's a, there's a lot of soldering and also all the the parts oh you have to buy the parts yeah, it's too. just the board oh yeah okay that makes yeah. sense now i'm guessing these are chips that are some are available and some you have to steal from old systems oh that's a whole vectrex Oh, I see. You are sacrificing a Vectrex for this. Oh, I see. So that's actually a pretty good deal. 200 bucks. Um, Vectrexes are not cheap. But I guess people might be buying like Vectrexes with shot monitors. And that would bring down the price. That makes sense. Ever wanted to buy a Vectrex but can't afford the high prices on auction sites? Do you already have a horde of Vectrexes but want another one? But now you can build your own. The Scopetrex is basically a Vectrex on a single board without a monitor. To play games, you have to connect it to an oscilloscope or an XY monitor. The board is not just an exact clone of a Vectrex. It makes a number of improvements. Single plus 5 volt power supply. That makes it easy to power up. Um, then you don't need any huge power supplies configurable x and y size and polarity brightness and video blank and polarity uh works with um i'm guessing those are chips and more the sound chip custom controller board which is also compatible with the vectrex cool art on the board is there where's the board oh they're not showing it eh, that's some cool art <laughs> Um, oh, it doesn't show like the final thing showing on a showing on an oscilloscope. Oh, that's too bad. But I can I can envision it. It'll just look like that, except on a different screen. Now, how big of um, I guess X Y monitors? People use those all the time to test. Um, motherboards but they usually does it plot x y or is it is that a different type of screen you know when they're testing chips on the motherboards to see the signals um yep. with the scopes mm -hmm. um i wonder if that's an x y or if it's just like a raster display hmm. untested vetrex for parts on ebay just over 600 oh my god but that includes the screen Penetration vectors were more for color oscilloscopes. Tar came up with using a shadow mask, just like raster color CRT to do color vector for Space Duel, Tempest, and Star Wars. Hmm. 
Yeah, don't know. Uh, finally, a use for my Vectrex ga graveyard. Oh, bad. <laughs> Where's Bernie? Bernie has been uh, attacked, and you, you never put up Bernie when the cats are looking. Look at him. It's like, I will kill you. Why do you hate Bernie so much? I love him. I love him so much. He he just wants to be with Bernie. It's like you and I, we belong together. You belong in my mouth. Being you were obviously up. put there for me to retrieve. <laughs> Bernie's back. There you go. Um. So, what's coming up on the show? The next episode, we have a very special guest that is going to be uh, via video. It's the immortal John Hancock. Doing a spotlight on him, his uh, homebrew games. He has put He might out. be immortal, but he must fear being destroyed. He, he will have to be feared uh, being destroyed. He, he must fear being destroyed. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be talking about his... See? See? None of that. None of that. Uh, talk about his homebrew releases, uh, including Blockum Sockum, his newest one. Uh, talk about his YouTube channel. Warning! And, uh, everything Warning. else about him. The tree ball is tree ball loose. Time. The tree ball is loose. Excellent. Thank you, Thrust, Thomas. Then after that, two days after that, is a Halloween homebrew special. We'll be dressed up. The cats will be forced to be dressed up for at least 10 seconds. <laughs> and we're going to play some um, Halloween-ish games. Zombie Harvest, How Spider's many? Arcade. Oh, 10. That's about right. That's good. Don't have to count. Poor starving cats. Yeah, they're so desperate they go after Bernie. Unfortunately, this is reinforcing their behavior of badness. No. Oh, I hear him. He's coming down. Sid! You don't need to hear are you ready? Let's show the cats. Oh, babies. Uh, I oh. didn't... Oh, that's why it's falling out, because this has yeah. not been set. To... Here, you do the... Okay. I don't know where it's supposed to be. Uh, like one click. One click? Okay. From open. So that's pretty good. Oh, this one doesn't click anymore. Okay, Atari. There you go. Get it. Oh, that's way out of frame. <laughs> ah, poor starving cats. Um... Yeah, we're going to do a homebrew Halloween special on the 31st, so tune in. Have that playing on your TV while you're doing... Oh, the cats are like, Darcy, where'd Darcy go? And uh, on November 1st, we're going to be playing the Falling Leaves Collection, uh, which is going to be released the next day at EJAG Fest. Um, it, and that includes Easter, Pack Nestor... Star Wars 7800, Drunk Witch, Adventureland, Pirate's Cove, Merlin, Merlane, E-Jag Fest, and Election Breakout. Box more left or cameras more right. Let's get that. Cameras more right. There boop. we go. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, did you boop him? No. Kick him? Ball did. Oh, from I mean I moved the ball, but I was trying to be helpful. There we go. <laughs> Let's get them into the frame. There you go, Thomas. We could put both in the box, but then this guy would eat all of them. And Atari wouldn't get any chance. Oh, that's out of frame. There you go. Yeah, that's what I was. Oh, I see. Look, look. It's like it's not earned. I'm not eating that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye-bye, S. Ramirez. Um, and uh, so those are the shows coming up. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to our Vectrex special. Uh, I had this planned for about a month or so, and I, today was a good opportunity. There was a little lull in the new homebrews, but uh, the next three shows, I have them fully booked. So it's perfect time to do it. So thanks for hanging out, Vitoko, Dan, ABC, S. Ramirez, Thrust, Rendered Ghost, It's Kev, uh, BR Pocock, Gamma Dev, Ivory Tower Collections. Uh, who else is chatty? Nathan Strum, Crunch of the Clown, Kabuto Coder. Uh -oh. 
Uh oh. All out? No, no, it's all out. Oh, how about that one? All out. Hungry cats. Thomas was correct. Uh, Al Nefer. Uh, RC7E. Uh, Bahamut Jurie. Jurie. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> and pseudographics. So we'll be back on Tuesday. Maybe we'll do an after dark during uh, the weekend. We'll see. Uh, if uh, I have time, actually, Tars was doing. I, know, I was. I was just trying to keep it on the screen on the screen because his were, were his re- instinct is to roll it that way off screen. Were you revealing more treats than he was? <laughs> I was? I was not trying to though. No. That's funny. <laughs> Next time it's going to be treat balls for Darcy. Ah! What can we put in the treat ball for Darcy? Gummies. <laughs> Gummies. <laughs> Gummy bears. <laughs> So, um, thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you like this uh, one-off show we did once in a while. I like to do shows that aren't Atari-based, but are homebrew-based. Um, we'll maybe be doing some Coleco ones in the future. Might be doing some Intellivision ones in the future. In fact, I know we'll be doing some Intellivision ones in the future. Uh, a, a Calabath from Atari Age has come out, so... That's a fun uh, Ultima type game. Uh, almost time for another television show soon. Yes, the Calabath. That will be coming up. And who knows, maybe some other uh, homebrew games as well. But a 650X CPU here too. So uh, yeah, that's it for us. Have a great, safe weekend and uh, get, uh, get carving some pumpkins. We have to do that as well. Even though zero kids have come here in the past 12 years. Zero. <laughs> Although our next door neighbors have kids. Not quite old enough yet, though. There are yep. kids in the building, but they'll probably go somewhere else. <laughs> our neighbors across the street have kids, and so we're thinking of doing like a little Ooh, special one just for them. Yeah. Yeah. Have, have, kids, <laughs> have kids ever come to your house? Oh, no, no. You're very remote. You'd have to be very brave. It's pretty much like a neighborhood. And like, we don't have street lights. We don't have a single street light. <laughs> Scary. I one time, very shortly after moving there, was like, I can walk to the mailbox at night. <laughs> That's not silly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. And, um, don't let the cats go. Yeah. Don't I the cats go. could not see anything. The only reason I knew I was still on the road yeah. is I could feel like the dirt on the side of the road. Jeez. And so the lights I, from the houses wasn't even enough. No. And then I got down to an intersection. I found the. <laughs> I found the the post office, like my mailbox down the street. Yeah, feeling then, around for it in the dark. <laughs> and then on the way back, I walked way past the turn. To, it was just funny. I know, cool story, bro. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> when it's dark, it's dark. When there's no yeah. moon, it's like no. Were the northern lights visible? Did you look for them in the past? I missed bit, them. Was it... They were, oh. but I missed them. Yeah, I tried to stay up one time, but it's way past my bedtime. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, because, you know, we live in the city. Yeah. Zero chance. You have to drive out. Um, I have seen them before, and Tamara has seen them before. I have too. And so, the if I hadn't, I probably would have put effort into it. That's the problem with getting older. It's like, I've done that. And you just don't. <laughs> You're like, yeah. I've seen them. I've done that. That's why you have to get We cats. saw a very cool moon come above the horizon. And Ooh. I figured out how to get my phone to take a picture of it without being over bright. And so that was cool. Oh, that's nice. That yep. was too new. Uh, oh, Atari funny. wants out. And he doesn't know how to get out, even the door, even though the door is kind of open. Poor kittens. Kev says, we could barely see them here, but most folks were using their phones to make them more visible. Oh, mm. long exposure. That's a good way of doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, we're really out of here now. Have a great weekend, everyone, and see you at the latest on Tuesday. Make sure you tune in. We have the immortal John Hancock here. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.